Well, good morning, folks. Good to see you. You're looking really well this morning. Are you all smiling? Let me see you smile. Well, folks, lovely. Thank you very much for coming today. This is a very special service for us here in Strand. This is our Girls' Brigade affiliation service. This is where they become uh, a numbered company in the Girls' Brigade of Northern Ireland. And so it's lovely to have them here. Lovely to see your mum and dads and maybe brothers and sisters and grannies and grannies here too. If you're visiting with us, we really want to give you a very well, a warm welcome. We're bringing more chairs out, so... Uh, You'll get a wee seat in a minute. And after the service, you're welcome to stay behind uh, for some tea and coffee and some bickies. We would love you to stay behind, an opportunity uh, for us to talk with you and, uh, and for you just to have some fellowship with us. I'm actually delighted to have Frida Parker and Alison Stevenson here from the GBNI, and uh, they'll be doing uh, the Act of Affiliation, so it's lovely to have them here too. And also, too, we have one other person I have to welcome, and that's Elaine, Elaine Getty. Uh, our community worker has started and uh, started last Tuesday. Elaine, can you stand for us? Elaine, can you stand for us? Oh, sorry, you are standing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Elaine. Good to see you. Thank you very much, Elaine. You'll be hearing more about Elaine uh, later on uh, as uh, the weeks and the months go, go on. Also, too, I have a, a thank you card. If you remember a few weeks ago, uh, we did a coffee morning for Ellie. Uh, Ellie is the, the daughter of Stephen who owns the Mace. And she writes a wee card to say that she was overwhelmed by the support that she received and the generosity of those who attended and donated. And uh, we raised £545.45p. And she'll say all of that will go towards school supplies to the disadvantaged children in North India. She is just looking forward to heading off and she promises that she'll come back and, and, and share with us some of the things that she got involved in. So thank you very much uh, for that support. Really, really benefited from that. One other uh, announcement that has got nothing to do with church, but I feel I have to announce it because I get that much stick through the year that I think it's an important announcement to make. Dundella won the league last week. <laughs> and uh, for all you folk who keep thinking Dundella get beat, we only got beat twice in the league, so that's impressive. That might not be the case next year, so I thought I'd better announce that now before we go any further. So it's great to see you. We're going to sing some, some songs together. The children are going to stay in for the whole service. You can be sure that the sermon will be short, and, uh, and so everybody will stay in. Uh, if, if you feel that your children need to go out, uh, there's, there's a foyer where you can sit. You can still hear the service in the foyer area. But we're going to sing a song together. It's a lovely uh, hymn. It's Jesus Bids Us Shine. And the words will come up on the screen. We'll all stand as we worship. Jesus Bids Us Shine. Let's all pray together. Father God, we thank you for this lovely day. We thank you that when the sun shines, we seem to feel that wee bit better. But it reminds us that you're with us every day, whether the sun shines or whether the sun doesn't shine. 
You're with us during the day as the sun is shining, but you're also with us at night when we sleep and when we're sometimes feeling afraid or alone. You promise that you're always with us. You will never leave us nor forget about us. And so we thank you that you're here in this church this morning. Now, of course, we cannot see you. It's not as if you're sitting next to us or you're standing in front of us. For you tell us that we can't see you, but even though we can't see you, we know that you're here because you promise to be here. And you're here to enjoy our singing. You're here to hear us as we talk to you in prayer. And you're here as we read the Bible, your word, that you will speak to us. And so we ask you that we may understand what is said and that, Father, we may take it into our hearts. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Alison is the, the, the Vice President of the Girls' Brigade in the whole of Northern Ireland. And now she's going to do something very, very important. Alison, can I call you up, please? Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you for your kind invitation for Frida and I to join you today. Um, as the Reverend Rankin has said, um, it's my privilege to be Vice President of GBNI, but that's my big job. My real job is I'm Captain of St Paul's in Lisburn, so just like you, I'm in GB. And in fact, just like you, I joined GB when I was not quite three, so I've been in it a very long time now. And I love GB, and um, what Frida and I were just saying as we were chatting was how encouraging it is to see how excited the girls are this morning. And this is such an exciting day. I think this is the most exciting day I've had in GB in a long time, because you are being affiliated as a new GB company, and that is something really, really special. So on behalf of GB Northern Ireland, I'd like to congratulate you on having the vision to have a new GB company here in Strand. I'd like to welcome you to our GB family. Your number is 371st, and that's a special one. So welcome 371st Northern Ireland Strand Presbyterian to our big GB family. This is a really special year to be joining GB because this is the 125th anniversary of GB and there are many exciting events coming along. So if you're gonna be a GB girl, this is a good year to be it. It's an exciting time. So thank you to the session and committee for their foresight and vision in establishing a GB, following our motto of seeking, serving and following Christ. Be assured of the prayerful and practical support you will receive from your wider GB family. You here are an inspiration and an encouragement to the rest of us in GB. In an increasingly secular world, you're sharing our vision to be recognized as dynamic, relevant, a Christ-centered organization. GB is a worldwide organization. There are 52 countries that have GB companies in it. And here in Northern Ireland, we have 23,000 members. So welcome to our amazing GB family and every blessing as you step forward seeking, serving and following. Um, this morning, I would like to present your affiliation certificate to Megan um, and a donation from GB headquarters just to help get your company up and running. And as I said, thank you for the vision uh, and thank you for the encouragement you bring to the rest of us too. So I can't see where Megan is at the moment. There she is. Um, but it's a great privilege to be able to present this to her. On behalf of the Kirk Session and the congregation, thank you so much, Alison. We are dead excited that we have a GB company in our church. We know how great the organization is, and, and we're delighted to be part of the bigger GB family. I think that's a great number, 371. That's going to be really easy to remember. Really easy to remember, because three is, when you think of God, you think of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So three is dead easy. Seven is the perfect number. If anybody says, what number do you want to be? Always be number seven. When you think of Georgia Best and, and you think of, of oh, so many great players, number seven is a great number. So three, seven, 
And first, we're the first. That's the main thing, we're the first. <laughs> so 371, that's, that's a great number. Don't forget that number. And that's a number you're going to hear for many, many years to come. 371, that's, that's the name of our company, or the number of our company. And it's wonderful. We're going to sing again. And it's our God is a great big God. We'll stand as we worship. In the Bible, there is a book that has 150 songs in it. Now, whenever we sing songs, there's all sorts of songs. You can sing songs, and usually it's love songs as you sing songs about the person who you love. Or sometimes there's songs that are very nationalistic. Or sometimes there's football songs that sometimes are not so good to sing. Well, these are 150 songs in, in this particular book in the Bible. And all the songs are about God. And I'm going to read now song number 23. This is what song number 23 says. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We're going to pray again, and we'll pray for our company, 371st GB. Let's all pray together. Father, we thank you for the Girls' Brigade. We thank you for what it stands for, of how we can serve you, how we can seek you. And Lord, we thank you that you promise that when we seek you, we will definitely find you. Lord, we thank you for all the different companies throughout the Northern Ireland. We thank you for all the leaders as they work hard at, at helping girls to, to find you and to learn lots of great new skills. 
and have to have lots of new friends. We thank you for them. We thank you for the GB here. We thank you for our leaders. We thank you for how they come each Monday night and how they look forward to coming because they love working with the girls who come. And we thank you for the girls as they come each week, how you keep them safe. We thank you for the great things that they learn. We thank you for the fun and the games that they have. And we thank you for the friendships that they've built up. And we just pray, Lord, that you will continue to be with them over the next few Monday nights. And then as we finish for the summer, Lord, keep one, each one of them safe. Bless them, Lord. And we pray that we'll look forward to seeing them as they come back again in September. But Lord, we pray for tomorrow night as they come. Bless them, for we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing again, and then I'm going to speak for a very short time. And, and it's all I once held to you. We'll stand as we worship. Well, girls, I've got a couple of questions to ask you. Do you know whenever somebody goes on holiday, <coughs> it might be your granny or your granddaughter, it might be your auntie, your uncle, sometimes it might be your friends, and when they come back from holiday, they bring your present back, don't they? What sort of presents do they bring back when you come back, when they come back from holiday? What sort of presents do they bring you back? Do they bring presents back? Maybe they do. What did they bring you back? A stick of rock. A stick of rock. 
A stick of rocks always good. I, I was at the dentist last week, cost me 109 pounds, and it's because of the sticks of rocks that I used to eat when I was a wee boy. My teeth are terrible, and it's because of all the sticks of rocks. So sometimes you get a stick of rock. What other things you get when you come home from home on a holiday? What sort of presents do you get? Sweeties. You always get sweeties, that's right. We have a wee lady in the church, and she always gets me sweeties. She gets me um, Turkish Delight. And she gets me Turkish Delight because, well, actually, she doesn't go on holiday. But all her family go on holiday, and they bring her back Turkish Delight. And she hates Turkish Delight. <laughs> and so, so I love it when our family goes on holiday, because they bring her Turkish Delight, and she gives them to me. And uh, so, sweeties, Turkish Delight, sticks of rock, anything else? Anything else? Yes? Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Well... <laughs> Nice stuff. When people go on holiday and they come back, you bring you nice stuff. I had a friend one time and he went on holiday. And will I show you what he brought me back? Well, I'll show you what he brought me back. This is, this is true, Bill. This is what he brought me back. <laughs> nice stuff. That's what he brought me back. What do you think it is? What, what did he bring me back? What did he bring? Yes. A golf stick. The only problem is... It, it's just, it wouldn't hit the ball. I mean, even if it was long enough, it wouldn't hit the ball. But, but it looks like a golf stick, but it's not a golf stick. What do you think it is? Any idea what this is? This is what it brought me back. Yes. A walking stick. You're quite right. <laughs> it, and, and, and I would look good. Do you think I look nice and young like this when I do this? Eh? If I, I could get on the buses for free if I did that. Or maybe get any Dundella for half price. Eh? <laughs> Yes, no, no, it, it looks like a walking stick, and it looks like a golf stick, but it's not a walking stick, and it's not a golf stick. Any idea? Does anybody know what this is? A twirling stick? For the 12th? <laughs> eh? Ridiculous. Of course it's not. It's not balanced right for that. Yes? A hockey stick. What a brilliant idea. Because it looks a bit like a hockey stick, and, but again, it's a wee bit short, so it's not a hockey stick. It's not, and it's not a stick for the 12. And, uh, well, because when I got it, I was actually really disappointed. Really disappointed because I thought to myself, what sort of present is that? You can't eat it. You have, what would, it's a stick. That's what I thought it was. Because it, it, it's useless. It's not a walking stick, and it's not a hockey stick. And, and it's not a golf stick. It's a stick. He's found that in the street somewhere and brought that back and thought, I'll give that to Danny. And then he told me what it was. And when he told me what it was, I was excited. In fact, I was delighted. And, and I, 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 I haven't used it yet, but I, I put it somewhere. I'll tell you what I'll do at the end, what I'll do with this. But don't tell the police if I tell you what I'll do with it. And, uh, but this here... This here, I, said, I just read about it actually. Because what it is, where, where he was on holiday, the shepherds had two sticks. They have a big long stick with a hook, and then they have a stick like this. So shepherds in that country walk about with two sticks. One of the sticks is called a staff. And what he uses that for, because it's got a hook at the end, is if their sheep are going to wander away, he pulls them back into the flock. So if they're going to get lost, he gets them along and he pulls them back. So it's to protect the sheep from themselves because sheep have a tendency to get lost. But this here is the other stick that he has and it's called a rod. In fact, we read about it in that song when it says, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't need to be afraid for your rod... And your staff are there to protect me. And really what what the the, the person writing that song, a man called David, when he wrote that song, what he was saying is, Lord, you're with me. Whenever I walk through the valley of shadow of death, whenever I feel afraid, and sometimes we feel about afraid, there's times in our lives when we feel alone and we feel afraid. And he says, I don't need to be feeling afraid whenever I'm nervous. 
because you're with it, you're, you're, you're rod and your staff, your staff is there to, to keep me from wandering away, and your rod is there. This is what this is for. This is to protect the sheep, not from themselves, but this is to protect the sheep from the enemies of the sheep. And so if a lion comes to steal the sheep, you go bump on the head, and that's the end of the lion. It's finally, but see if you hold it this end, it doesn't feel right. When you hold it this end, it feels perfect. If a big bear comes to steal the sheep, bump on the head, the end of the, the bear. Or if a snake comes to bite the sheep, bump, that's the end of the snake. It's there to protect the sheep from the enemies of the sheep. And that verse in that hymn or in that psalm or in that song tells us that thy rod and thy staff, in other words, God protects us from all the things that make us nervous or afraid. And that's what's good about God. God promises always to be with us, to bless us and to lead us and to guide us so that we don't need to be feeling afraid. And daily like this, we don't feel afraid. But sometimes when it's dark, we might feel afraid. Whenever you feel afraid, you remember that God is with you. And he's always there to help you and to bless you. Does anybody else have a stick like this? They're great. Well, I'll tell you what I do with it now. And if I don't tell anybody what I do, I have this under the bed. So that, see, during the night, see if somebody comes at my house, bump. That's the end of the hymn. No, no, I'm only joking. And, but isn't that a great stick? Because it looks like a stick. But it's really important for the shepherd. And it reminds us that God is always with us to bless us and to help us and to keep us safe. Well, we pray together. Let's close our eyes and we'll pray. <coughs> Father, we thank you that you are our shepherd. You're the one who promises to look after us and to keep us safe from ourselves. We have a tendency. It is easy for us to get lost. It's easy for us to wander away from you. And you tell us that your, your staff is there to to keep us and to draw us close to yourself as you are our Lord and our Savior and our Shepherd. And your rod is there to protect us from all the, the things that would try to destroy us, all the things that would try to make us do bad things. We thank you that you're there to help us. And so the secret is for us to stay close to you, to know who you are. And at the very beginning of that song, it tells us, the Lord is my Shepherd. In other words, as we ask you to be our Savior and our Lord, you promise always to be with us, to lead us and to guide us and to bless us. Continue with us, we ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue to worship God as we present to God our morning offerings. Now, if you've come to church and you haven't brought offering with you, don't you worry about it. I mean, the place we pass, and you just pass that along. So if you haven't come prepared, don't you worry, and uh, you just pass the plates along.
It's always dangerous whenever you give a wee girl a coin. And uh, they had the coins there, and they were putting them in their eyes. And it reminds me that uh, when my son was quite young, and Stephen was quite young, he got a coin, and he rested it on his nose, a 10p piece. And he says, Dad, look what I, I can do. And the next minute, he swallowed it. <laughs> and we had to go and get it. I have the x-ray at home. We had to go up and get the x-ray. And there you could see it right in the middle of his tummy. And I uh, had to get three x-rays before we knew that it actually passed. We won't say it, but you knew which way it passed. But, uh, <laughs> so it's always dangerous whenever you give a coin to, to a young girl, young boy. You have no idea what they're going to do with it. The idea is to put it on the plate, but it could have gone anywhere. And we're going to sing our final hymn. It's a lovely hymn. It's an old hymn. It's Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. We'll stand as we worship. Let's pray. So, Father, we thank you for being with us today. Help us to enjoy the rest of the day and help us to enjoy tomorrow, a bank holiday, that we can enjoy being together. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I've just got a couple more announcements, if that's okay. On, on Saturday, the 19th of May, we have three events going on in the church, thankfully not at the same time. Uh, in the morning time, leading up into lunch time, we're going to do a cream tea. We're going to be celebrating the, the royal wedding. And if you're free and you want to come down for a cream tea, you feel free to come. And you can watch it together with us uh, on the screen in the foyer area. So, so enjoy that. That's really for the ladies. Uh, later on, uh, we're going to watch the FA Cup together. Uh, and we're not going to have a cream tea. We're going to have burgers and, bon and, uh, and baps and all those sort of things. If you want to come down and watch the match, please feel free to do that. I'll be about for half four. I think the match kicks off at quarter past five. Particularly if you're a Man United fan, dress up accordingly. If you're a Chelsea fan, don't be dressing up. <laughs> and, uh, and so it would be great if you can come for that. And then later on that night, we're going to have, it's called an AGM, an annual general meeting, but really it's just a shindig. Uh, and so we're going to have a, a, a church party. And, and we'd love everybody to come along to that. So if you can come along to the church party, that will start around half past seven. And we would love uh, you to do that. Now for the church party, what we would like you to do, if you can look at an old photograph of whenever you were maybe five or under. Now for some of us that won't be difficult, but for others it might be a wee bit difficult. And maybe for some of you that might have had no photographs in those days, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> 
uh, maybe a drawing would do. And uh, if, if, if you could look at an old photograph, maybe when you're five and under, then what we're going to do, we're going to have a competition, uh, and we can see who can guess who the photographs belong to. So if you can bring a photograph, that would be amazing. And, uh, and then we'll stick up on all the walls, and we'll see how it goes. So, so in the morning, the Royal Wedding, and it's a cream tea. Uh, in late afternoon, it's the FA Cup. Um, we'll see my United lift it. And then, and then the evening is the party, the church party. And it'd be great to see you come along. But please stay behind. There's some juice and biscuits for the children uh, now. And there's tea and coffee. And it's been great to see you. Thank you very much. <laughs>